Alright y'all, I'm on uh, Neely Henry this morning. I ain't been here really in quite a while. Uh, it's been several weeks since I've actually came out here and tried to see what's going on with the fish or anything like that. So, we're gonna, we're gonna do some fishing and maybe we'll have some good luck. We shall see. Dragging some planter boards. I use the spread them. I just dragged this area a few times. It's not a very big area. So, I may drag it a few times over and see what happens. Oh, there he is. It's a good one, y'all. Them slowing the boat down. Running straight at the boat now. Good lord, he's running. Man, I can't hardly keep up now. Good lord, man. Whoa. <laughs> they don't like it when you catch them in the shallow water. They find it hard. Oh, man, they're fun. <laughs> yes, baby, yes. This is a 40 plus for sure. He's ours, baby. He's ours. Woo. That's a good one there, guys. That is a good one. Love it, love it, love it, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. Got him. 
got another one. Come on. Heck yeah, I got it. Heck yeah. That's why I was telling y'all. You just gotta find them if you can find them. I mean, that's the main part. That's the main part, fine. If you can find them, most of the time they'll eat, even if they even if they're not real uh, energetic about it. Most of the time they'll eat. Get this board off of here. Hopefully we don't lose them. Where you at, Michael? I need my net, man. That's a good one, too. I mean, decent. He's, he's a under, but he'd be a he'd be, hey, man, we'd have three fish out of here for our tournament limit already. This would be a real good under. I don't know what my trolling motor is doing. It only wants to act up when it's just me. Oh man, he's thick. Man, we got a mess. I'm talking a mess. Kind of glad I, I'm not allowed to fish with six rods in here. Lord, we'd be in trouble. Lord. This wind is blowing at different speeds. I was trying to use the cruise control on my trolling motor, but it was acting kind of crazy. It didn't want to didn't want to do right. Let's see if we can get it to do it again and actually do right. Y'all, that fish is, he's a hoss. I'm talking about a hoss. Yes, sir. Got a tournament coming up on this body of water and uh, I'm gonna take that fish somewhere else for pictures. That's why I'm putting water in the live well.
I'm gonna get good pictures of all of them. I'm gonna get somebody to help me take pictures and let them go up here at the boat ramp after I get done fishing for the day. Fish energy rods, man. These things are workhorse. Straight power. Ooh. Got him in the hydro web. He's ours. state too.
такие. Not too bad of a day out here solo fishing by myself. I'll take it. these 10 aught TFR hooks, man. These things are beast. Woo. Open up this live wheel. Put him in here. Another one. that monster bait y'all first good bite on the board all day feel like that big of a fish. Oh my gosh, it's so This bait is big as this damn fish. And I'm talking about he smoked. I think we're going to end on a good note with that one. bad fish but good lord how did he do that <laughs> that was a two pound bait that he just smoked with a double hook rig in it that's wild i mean wild
want y'all to look at that. Look at the bait that that fish ate. This little dude. Which ain't a bad fish. That little dude ate that. That's wild, man. Crazy to me. So if somebody's telling you that you're using bait that's too big, don't listen to them. Because I'm not sure you can use too big a bait. If they're hungry, they'll go after it. As old Bobby told me before, he said, and fish don't run around down there with a knife and a fork. They eat their food whole. They don't get to cut it in little chunks and eat it like we do. So. Nice solid little fish, but man, how did he? <laughs> it's wild. Unbelievable. That was a sweet takedown, though. <laughs> Boy, I had my old heart pumping. Thought I had me a, an 80. No, he's just a dink. But we'll take him. That's five fish on the day. Not too bad for bait that's five days old. I thought to myself earlier, I might just throw this bait out after the trip today, but to be honest with you, I'm thinking about this keeping. I may fish again here soon within the next couple of days. It's obviously still catching fish just fine, so might as well run it. I'm gonna weigh him real quick because I'm curious to see what he weighs. Come on. 11 pounds and he took at least a two pound bait. Crazy. <laughs> hey buddy. We about to wrap it up for the day. About to wrap it up. I'm gonna go out and do a little release video of the ones that I've got in the live well still. Man, it's been a good day of fishing. I've had a good time. Didn't catch a ton of fish, but we did catch five with some nice ones. So, hey, I'll take it, man. 16 and a half pound under on the day. I'm gonna turn him loose. See, buddy, gosh almighty. He gone. Now, I'm gonna get these other two, the overs. smaller over is going to weigh. <sighs> that one's 30. He's 32 in the net, so 
30 pounder. Get a hold on him. Show him to y'all and then let him go. He got a big old sore on his belly. Like something. You got a hold of him at some point. That's the 30. So, we're gonna put him back. See you, buddy. He gone. All right, and we got one more. It's a little bigger. I don't know exactly how much bigger. Like I say, I didn't, I didn't weigh them or nothing. I just wanted to see what I would have had if it would have been a tournament today. Fished by myself. Three rods with one extra, just in case you get broke off. See if I can get this dude in the net and call it good. This is a little bigger than that one. Gosh. I need to start working out or something, Lord. Who'd have thought fishing would require a personal trainer? All right. Let's weigh this. And then we're gonna take it to the house. About dinner time. Forty-two pounds in the net, so he's a forty, a thirty, a forty, and a sixteen and a half. You do the math on that one. Eighty-six point five would have been tournament weight. I'm gonna hold him up real quick, and we're gonna get him put back. Call it a day. Oh, we gonna bite it too. Oh! <laughs> the jaw pressure on these fish is unreal. If he would quit biting me, man. All right. Oh, he's about to break my darn knuckles. Hmm. Woo! Took a slap to the face. It's all right. All right, we're gonna let him go. So he can whoop somebody else another day. Woo! Mm. He just shredded that glove. My fingers are bleeding. Oh, them gloves don't always, they don't, they don't fully protect you. You still feel it, they just help it from raking all your skin off, I reckon. Well, all right, I guess that's it. We're gonna head on back to the ramp and get back to the house. See ya.